distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine is one of the biggest logistics challenges in history. How is UNICEF helping to make it happen? UNICEF was tapped by the Global Vaccine Alliance to lead on the procurement and supply of the COVID-19 vaccine for 92 lower and middle income countries and serve as procurement coordinator for 90 higher income countries. UNICEF's goal is to ensure the delivery of 2 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses around the world in 2021. UNICEF is procuring a total of 520 million auto-disabled syringes and 5.2 million safety boxes and pre-positioning them in warehouses in Copenhagen and in Dubai. Lead end-to-end, -end, these syringes would encircle the world one and a half times. And this is just the beginning. UNICEF is scaling up the delivery of vaccination supplies as they're needed. You may ask, why are we positioning all of these stocks? Let's back up a second. Vaccines are made up of two things. There's the serum that provides immunity, and there's the injection device. During its journey to the people who need it, the vaccine must be kept cold. The COVID-19 vaccine will be administered by a syringe, which then has to be disposed of safely. Because UNICEF helps vaccinate almost half the world's children, UNICEF knows how to bring all these parts together. UNICEF has the world's largest humanitarian supply warehouse in Copenhagen and another in Dubai, and can get life-saving essentials anywhere within 72 hours. But here's the tricky part when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccines are shipped by air and these injection devices are shipped by sea. Vaccines will take one to three days to arrive, and these syringes would normally take between two to four months to arrive. Within an emergency response such as the COVID-19 response, we don't have those timelines to work with. So by bringing these products to these two hubs in Copenhagen and Dubai, it brings the products closer to the end users and reduces our response times. All that's left is for the safe, effective vaccine to be administered. Then UNICEF won't stop until everyone has access to it. Because no one is safe until everyone is safe.